this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, and good morning, Squishy. <laughs> what a very elegant flight that was off my rooftop. What an amazing soaring duck you are. <laughs> uh, and I'm also going to be joined by, oh, here she is already, I'm also going to be joined by Polly Reindeer, and I got all of my Minecraft helpers here. Uh, because we are going to be playing a mini game for the uh, the entire episode today, so uh, that's going to be very exciting. But first, uh, what's very exciting to me is, of course, my breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Ah, absolutely delicious. Right, Barnaby, uh, let's go get you to the uh, the doghouse, and I'm going to go and, of course, head over to the, the love garden, and then after that, I am going to go and say hello to Harry. And if you don't know who Harry is, Harry is the new horse, which I met uh, in my last episode, and I'm yet to, to tame him, and... Uh, are you, are you guys having fun there? <laughs> it's nice that my helpers can keep themselves entertained while I'm adding someone to the uh, the love garden. And to the love garden today, uh, I'm adding Otto. And I'm adding Otto because he sent me this picture of a, uh, a cake soda that he's designed. And I just love the idea of being able to drink cake so much, I thought I have to add him to the, uh, the love garden. So thank you for sending me the, uh, the picture, and welcome to my love garden, Otto. All right then, uh, let's go and drop you off at the, uh, the doghouse, and uh, then I'm going to go and head to to Harry, and uh, we're actually uh, going to be playing a game with Harry today. That's right, uh, we are going to be uh, riding on Harry uh, while we need to go and deliver pizzas. The game is called Pizza Pronto, and uh, the idea is you need to deliver five pizzas as fast as you can. And I'm going to explain uh, all of the other rules in a little bit, uh, but first, let's, uh, let's choose a, a dog to join me. We'll tell you what. Seeing as we're going to be mainly riding around on a horse, uh, let's take uh, Duncan and, uh, and Mittens with us today uh, so they can go and sit down together and uh, keep each other company while we're going and uh, playing the, uh, the game. I'm not sure whether cats and dogs uh, can ride horses. Well, hopefully I can ride a horse, but <laughs> I've never done it before. Uh, this is the, uh, the first horse I've ever had in my lovely world. So Mittens, uh, you can come and uh, join us uh, as well. And uh, let's go and uh, head over to, to Harry. And uh, let's see whether I can actually tame him. Because, of course, to, uh, to ride the, uh, the horse, uh, you need to get the, uh, the horse friend first and uh, uh, it's probably the uh, the first cat uh, that um, Harry's ever met so he might be a little bit shy at first but I'm sure uh, that will change soon so let's go and oh no I did so well then that I missed the uh, the final job what a load of rubbish <laughs> right then let's go and have a little bit to, to eat and I got some apples on me uh, as well and uh, they are to give to, to Harry uh, because I think he's probably going to, to like apples and anyway uh, let's explain the uh, the game a little bit on our way as you can see on some of the uh, the rooftops uh, there are chests and inside those chests are pizza. And the idea is, is that if we don't deliver a pizza in under two and a half minutes, then the customer gets the pizza for free. And so along here by where Polly is, uh, you can see that there are five customers in a row. And so we need to deliver uh, pizzas to those five customers in under two and a half minutes. And we're going to take it in turns and see who can deliver the, uh, the most pizza or if uh, any of us uh, can deliver all five in time. But first, uh, let's go and uh, say hello to Harry. And oh, Harry's grown up. Harry's a big horse now, of course he is. So let's go and uh, get Harry outside of here. And uh, I got a, a saddle in the, the chest here. So let's go and uh, grab that. And uh, what I need to do is uh, basically just hop on. If I jump on Harry's back, uh, he's going to kick me off a little bit. Uh, but eventually, uh, hopefully, he's going to, to allow me to, to ride him. And then we can go and uh, play the uh, the game with him. I think this is a, a nice way to introduce him to my lovely world uh, by playing a, a mini game. It is what we do a lot around here. <laughs> so I might as well uh, kind of let him know uh, what the uh, the lovely world is uh, all uh, about. And I've also got some, uh, I got some diamond horse armor on me uh, as well, uh, which I actually got from Santa uh, on Christmas. So I can go and uh, give him that as well well uh, so then that way he should be safe because uh he is going to be a little bit of a stunt horse today we are uh, going to be going and riding around on top of all of the uh, the rooftops uh, so yeah i do want to, to make sure he's got lots of protection and there we go i have now tamed harry he uh, is now my friendly horse so let's go and uh, let's go grab the uh, the saddle then and uh, let's go and put that on uh, on harry's back uh, like this then i can put the armor on as well and whoa that looks awesome that is a very nice look for you harry <laughs> right then let's go and uh, ride him over to the uh, the start of the uh, the game uh, and then I guess uh, we can go and uh, and begin so uh, if I just go and uh, head my way down here he doesn't seem to be the world's fastest horse I will be honest I have seen uh, faster horses uh, but what really matters is that he's able to jump high and he does uh, seem to be able to jump very high in fact and that uh, is what really matters so uh, let's go and see who's going to to go first it looks like it's uh, uh, Squishy 
Uh, you are going to, to be going first. So uh, let's go and uh, sit down Duncan and uh, Mittens here together. And so the way this is going to work, Squishy, as you need to jump on Harry's back and then you pull the lever which will start a two and a half minute timer and so after two and a half minutes this gate here is going to shut so you need to go and get all of the pizzas and uh, put them uh, or give them to the uh, the customers by putting them in the item frames uh, and then uh, yeah we need to see uh, how many you can get done in the time so uh, whenever you are ready Squishy uh, you can go and you can pull the lever right her time has began so this isn't going to open yet but in two and a half minutes uh, the, uh, the gate is going to, to shut uh, so we need to see uh, how many she can uh, deliver uh, in that time so they're kind of scattered uh, mainly on the roofs of the buildings around here uh, there is actually one uh, over underneath the other uh, lighthouse and it seems like that is the other uh, one uh, that squashy is uh, is heading to first yeah you can see there's a, a chest there and so inside of there, uh, there are a few pizzas. So only take one of them, Squishy, because uh, there's uh, enough pizzas uh, so we can all uh, have a go. Uh, so yeah, only take one of the uh, the pizzas uh, so we can have a, a chance as well. And uh, Harry definitely isn't the uh, the fastest horse. In fact, I feel like I am going at just about the uh, the same speed as uh, <laughs> as uh, Harry is. But it looks like uh, Squishy has got the, the first pizza. So now she has to make a decision. So she could either uh, go and deliver the uh, the pizza uh, straight to the uh, the customer, or if she wanted, she could go and try and get more pizzas. But it's more risky because if she gets the pizza uh, but she hasn't delivered it to the uh, the customer in time, uh, then yeah, that pizza doesn't count. So it doesn't matter about how many pizzas you get; it's about how many you deliver. So uh, it looks like she's trying to decide which one to go for. There's one on top of Stampy's hot buns, so you can kind of jump up there to get it. But it's probably one of the uh, the most difficult ones to to get so I think Squishy went to go for that one and then decided to, to change her mind and not go for it but whoa that was a big jump right on top of the uh, the snack on track and then on top of the uh, the fire workshop uh, as well and then going across uh, to the uh, this is the the clean machine as well that was some pretty awesome jumping that's quite uh, impressive from both Squishy and uh, and Harry as well and now uh, I think she's just trying to find uh, a safe uh, way down I think she's uh, going down uh, the uh, the way she came up uh, as well and so uh, there's some more over in the the back corner of the, the town as well over by the, the bank but I think she's playing it safe I think she's going to go and uh, put these pizzas in uh, because once they're in uh, that, that means she definitely has two points uh, no matter what and then she can go and get some more and oh yeah there's fireworks as well uh, when you put them in uh, some fireworks go and get launched and the uh, the lights go on uh, as well uh, just so she uh, she knows uh, that she's uh, delivered pizza uh, to those customers so I think if she's quick she will probably have time uh, to get at least one more pizza uh, before the uh, the gate shuts. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to switch the uh, the lever back uh, because there's a whole load of redstone underneath there, which is basically counting. And so if I switch it, uh, then that just means it's going to be quicker to reset uh, for when we have the uh, the next person's go. <laughs> anyway, I've lost Squashy. Squashy has ridden off into the the sunset on Harry, and I have no idea uh, where it is uh, she's head to. I reckon it's going to be back there somewhere. She might. Oh, oh, look, she's going for the difficult one. She's going to, to try and uh, do the, the difficult jump and uh, try and get on top of the uh, the crazy cow milk bar. She has to go and jump pretty much at the uh, the limit of what Harry can jump though. And oh no, oh no, she slipped off there. <laughs> I think she might have given up on that one. There might be another way up actually. There's normally uh, multiple ways uh, you can get to them. I'm not sure. That one's probably the, the hardest one to, to get. Uh, but there is another one over this way. It looks like uh, she's going to go and try and uh, go onto the, uh, the florist here. And aha, now she's jumping across to the um uh, to my clove shop and I think uh, she's trying to decide uh, which route uh, she wants to, to go uh, and uh, head in. She is running out of time a little bit here. No, oh, I can't jump either. <laughs> if you think it's hard for Squishy, it would be a lot harder for me uh, because I don't have a horse and I think she's probably uh, just about uh, to run out of time. So let's go and uh, go back to the, the start of the game. And uh, let me see uh, whether the, the gate is up. I kind of need a horse myself, uh, just so I can go and watch her riding around on uh, on Harry. Uh, so let's go and see uh, whether time is up. And oh, sadly, time is up, Squishy. Uh, the uh, the gate has been lifted up, uh, which means uh, that she was able to, to get two points, which isn't bad. It's a very difficult game, and I think it might actually uh, be impossible uh, to get all five. Uh, so no, uh, yeah, doing uh, two out of five is certainly not bad. So let's go and uh, put down a sign here. 
and uh, just say two so we can remember the uh, the score. And it looks like uh, Polly uh, is going to, to be going next. So two's the uh, the score to, to beat uh, for the uh, the Pizza Pronto game. So uh, let's just go and uh, I'm just going to go and pile over the, the fence for now uh, just so I can go and take the, uh, the pizza out of here. And uh, it is actually pizza, by the way. It's not pumpkin pie. It looks like pumpkin pie, but if you look at it, it is definitely pizza. I promise. <laughs> so let's go and uh, take these out. And uh, I'm probably just going to eat these uh, myself. And uh, yeah, once the uh, the gate goes down, and uh, then that means Polly can uh, pull the uh, the lever, and then her go uh, can uh, can begin. So let's go and um, uh, let's go and uh, break away this dirt, uh, just so no one can go and uh, and jump over here. And that's the the only problem with the the game because it's got such a a big timer, uh, is it does take a little bit of a, of time to to reset uh, before you can go and start the the next game. I might as well show you actually. Let's go and uh, have a little look at the the redstone underneath, uh, just so you can see how many repeaters there are here. There is just basically a huge room down here. Uh, which I filled with as many repeaters as I can, and then uh, over here there's just uh, some of the uh, the pistons, uh, yeah, that you need uh, uh, that are going to be lifting up the the block. But it looks like uh, the uh, the timer has pretty much gone. Uh, so let's go upstairs, and Polly uh, should be just about uh, ready to go and uh, start her game. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see whether she goes uh, for a similar tactic to Squishy or tries to to do things differently. So the uh, uh, the uh, the pistons are down now, Polly. Uh, so whenever you're ready, uh, you can go and uh, switch the uh, the lever, and the second you do so, your time will begin. So once again, uh, we've got another about two and a half minutes uh, until the um, the uh, the pistons get pulled up again uh, which will lock Polly out. And it looks like I think she is heading uh, for the same one that Squashy did. I think this is probably the easiest one. It's quite far away but like there's no real difficult jumps uh, to, to go for it. So it's probably a, a good one to, to head to first uh, just because it's kind of a, a safe one. Then again, it might be worth going for a difficult one first, you know, knowing that you could always come here like on your way back as like a last minute addition. Uh, so while I'm kind of watching everyone else going, I'm trying to, to kind of plan my own strategy. It's definitely probably uh, easier to go last rather than first because <laughs> you can kind of see uh, what everyone else did and what worked and what didn't work. Because it is going to be, uh, I think, me going up uh, after after Polly. But let's see uh, what she goes for next. It looks like uh, she is trying to do uh, pretty much exactly the uh, the same uh, as what Squashy did. I think she's going for the um, uh, the one up there. I think that was the, the green one. I think that was up there. Uh, yeah, that's the, the green one. I think uh, she's going for that one next. But the question is, does she try and go for the uh, the difficult one? Uh, that was on top uh, of the uh, of Stampy's hot buns because that is the one uh, that Squashy really struggled with and uh, she lost her a lot of time going for that one so she might uh, go and try and go for one of the uh, the easier ones first uh, but first I need to find where she is she's very quick <laughs> running uh, around here uh, so I need to, to try and uh, make sure I'm able to, to keep track uh, with where she's heading to and she's heading into to town now there is one uh, on top of the uh, the IC opticians but you need to jump over all of these buildings first it's over here Polly uh, you can see on the the vet uh, there's a, a yellow ramp here, uh, which you can use to, to jump up, and you need to jump across all of those buildings uh, in order to, to go and uh, and to go and uh, to get to it. So it's uh, it's not ne uh, necessarily difficult jumps, uh, but it's just uh, quite a lot of them uh, in a row, uh, which can make it quite difficult. But that was good. That was a very good start. And one final jump, can she make it? And she did. She made it. And that means uh, she's going to get that pizza. So if she gets uh, all of those pizzas uh, back in time. Uh, then that means uh, she will be uh, beating Squashy. So I'm going to go and head back now to the, the gate uh, just to, to make sure that I don't miss the other uh, finish. I think she's got a bit more time left. Uh, there is a chance uh, that she uh, she might be able to, to get one more. And are you okay here, Squashy? <laughs> Having a little dance by yourself. I guess once you've already gone, all you've got to do is wait around. I'm also going to go and switch the, uh, the lever back uh, just so there's going to be a bit more time. And oh yeah, she hasn't put any in yet. That's a good point. If the gate shut before she got in, uh, she wouldn't have got any points. But it looks like uh, she's going to at least to get the uh, those three ones. As you can see, the uh, the fireworks going off. So she's already beaten Squishy. But if she's really fast, uh, she might have time uh, to maybe get one more. There's probably uh, not very much time left. Uh, but I don't know. If she was really fast, uh, then maybe uh, she would be able to, to get just one more. And seeing as uh, how close the, uh, the game is so far, uh, that might be enough uh, to make all of the, uh, the difference between a win or a lose. So there's the blue one she can go for. Or there's a, a pink one... Uh, 
which if you head up that way, uh, you can make your way to the uh, the bank. And I'm not sure which one's closest, uh, but this one's probably the, the most difficult. That is a very difficult jump to, to make. And uh, uh, I'm going to go and just give Harry some uh, some apples uh, as well, uh, because, yeah, I don't want him to, to get too hurt. Uh, luckily, he does have the uh, the diamond armor, uh, so he should be uh, okay. Uh, it's not too big of a, of a fall, but seeing as it's uh, it's his first full day in my lovely world, uh, yeah, I don't want him to, to get too hurt. And oh, was that it? Oh, she made it. She made the jump. The question is, though, can she get there quick enough? She needs to be really fast. And there we go. She jumped onto the, the tree. And this is another very difficult jump. She needs to jump all the way from the tree and just stab his hot buns. And oh, no, she fell down, though. <laughs> that was so close. And I reckon uh, that the uh, the gate has uh, has probably shut by now. I think uh, that definitely uh, has to be two and a half minutes. So let's go and uh, head back uh, just to, to make sure. Uh, and then it's going to, to be my go next. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go for that uh, that. Uh, pizza last. Seems as that definitely uh, seems to be the uh, the most difficult one. Uh, that is the one I'm going to go for last. And look, yep, the uh, the gate has shut, uh, which means that time is up for Polly. A very, very good run though. So that's uh, three pizzas uh, that she was able to get, and uh, three very happy customers. The poor customers on the end there, they haven't had any pizzas. <laughs> let's see if I can go and uh, deliver them some uh, on my go. But first, uh, let's go and uh, put down Polly's score here. Uh, which is, uh, of course, three pizzas. And uh, then it's going to be my go uh, next. So uh, once again, uh, let me just go and uh, climb over here for now, uh, just so I can go and uh, get rid of these pizzas. And uh, I want to make sure I'm not holding them as, as well, because uh, I don't want to, to accidentally uh, have more pizzas than I actually got myself. So let's go and, uh, uh, for now, just go and grab these, and uh, I can go and uh, pile up. And uh, Squashy, would you like to look after my pizzas for me? <laughs> I, uh, I imagined you would have. Right, I'm going to eat one of them myself, uh, just because I'm uh, a little bit hungry. And then I can go and give the uh, the rest uh, to Squashy to, to go and look after. So, uh, oh, I got four with me uh, somehow. So uh, let's go and uh, tell you what, I'll give one to everyone can have one pizza each. And uh, we can go and eat that. Seeing as uh, we're giving all of these pizzas to the uh, the customers, I think it's only fair uh, that we should uh, get to, to eat some of them uh, for ourselves as well. And I'm actually uh, going to go and give a, a nice apple uh, to Harry as well. And uh, how do you feed them? Oh, it looks like, uh, it looks like he's fine. It looks like he's uh, he's got full health anyway. Uh, so he probably doesn't want to, to eat uh, any apples. Uh, but I think that's what horses eat. I think they can eat apples and wheat as well as a, a few other things. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, have my go then, shall I? So I need to go and pull the, the lever. And then my time is going to, to begin. So I have uh, I've switched it now. And let's go, go, go. So I'm going to do a different strategy. I am not uh, going to go for the, the lighthouse first. I might go for that one last. Seeing as that is the, the easiest one, I think I might do that as kind of like the, the last one I go for. Uh, because I want to try and make sure I beat three. And oh, no, 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 I fell. Okay, so okay. I think if I go up this way, I should be able to jump across from here. But that was a very bad start. It was almost a good start. But then I missed the, uh, the last jump. Oh, no, no, I missed it again. This is going bad. This is going going really bad. If I want to, to beat uh, Polly, I'm going to have to do a lot better than this. So let's get on top of the uh, the furniture shop, the uh, inter uh, superior interior, this one's called. And uh, let's go. There we go. I finally uh, got the uh, the first pizza, uh, but that was pretty slow. Let's go for this one again, though. Uh, so Polly was able to, to get this one, uh, so it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, but she did do very well. So I want to make sure I time the jump. If you haven't ridden a horse in Minecraft, you can see there's a little bar along the, uh, the bottom of the screen, and you kind of want to time it. So that's right at at the very end and oh no I nearly fell then let's be very careful on this last jump and there we go I made it so there we go that's two pizzas down but remember I do need to make sure uh, that I get them back as well. Having the pizza uh, is no help uh, as long as uh, if I'm not able uh, to get them back to the, the customer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for, uh, let's go for the one on top of the, the bank, shall I? So I need to go and to climb here on top of the uh, the caring cat clinic. Uh, and then if I jump across, I should be able to get the bank one. This is quite a difficult one though. This is a, a very big jump here. Uh, oh no, I didn't make it. I need to get it right at the, the very end. And there we go. That was good. Uh, but there's another difficult jump here from the, uh, the police station onto the, the bank. Can I make it? Yes, I did it. I did it. Right. I think I might put these pizzas back now uh, and then uh, go for, um, uh, maybe I could go for the lighthouse. I'll tell you what, I could go for the lighthouse on the way back. It's very risky because if I don't get back before the gate shuts, then I don't get any points. But I am going to go all out because at the moment I'm drawing with Polly. Uh, but I want to win. I am playing to win. I want to be the employee of the, the month uh, in the... um. 
in the uh, the clay oven pizzeria and uh, to do that I am going to, to have to, to win so I'm gonna go across the if I go across the bridge this way and then on the the way back I can head across the the sand and if I'm really quick I might be able to, to get four and if I'm super super quick I could possibly have a chance to go for the the final one I think if I was quicker uh, getting the first one and I went straight to the one on top of the uh, Stampy's hot buns I think it might just about uh, be possible to get all five but you have to be super super fast and I don't think I was fast enough so let's go and grab this pizza so that's four pizzas I have on me now but remember I need to deliver the pizzas pronto I need to do it in under uh, two and uh, a half minutes uh, otherwise the uh, the customers uh, are not going to, to be very happy with me oh well, that's a good idea Polly if you run in front of me holding an apple uh, that might try and spur Harry on to try and run and try and uh, and uh, to try and get them and is the gate open is the gate open oh Squishy's she's helping me out as well by holding the apple the gate is still open the gate is still open I might be able to do this I need to get in though before the gate shut go 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 and I did it I am in so it doesn't even matter if the the gate shuts now uh, because uh, I've already made it in and did it just shut look how close that was look how close that timing was <laughs> I was able to just about uh, get four before it shut that was literally just a few seconds in it that was amazing <laughs> oh dear. anyway uh, does someone want to go and pull the uh, the lever back and so then that way it will start the uh, the timer going uh, for it going to reset. I still cannot believe how close that was. It was either going to be amazing or it was going to be awful. And I'm very happy because it was amazing because I was just able uh, to get it in. And I don't know why I'm celebrating. I should be saying well done to Harry. Harry was the one doing all of the, the running. <laughs> I was just sitting on his back. <laughs> I don't right. Let's go and uh, grab all of these pizzas. And I think because it's going to take a while to reset, I think I'm just going to go and uh, reset it manually. So um, actually, I don't really know how to reset it manually to be honest. <laughs> so I tell you what, I guess we're just going to have to, to wait for a couple minutes, but that's okay. It uh, gives a, a time for uh, gives a time for, for William Beaver uh, to go and uh, get ready uh, before he goes and has uh, his go. And it looks like uh, uh, Harry uh, is inside uh, here for now. And oh, I need to write down my score as well. If I go and uh, write down here, uh, I got to write down number four, uh, which was my score. And if you look at it, we've done it in order. It's gone two, three, and then four. So if we continue uh, with the way things have been going, uh, then that means that William Beaver uh, is going to, to get five and be the, the winner. But then again, getting five is going to be really, really difficult. So what I think I'm going to do now, uh, just because we need to wait for a while before the um, uh, the fences comes down, uh, I'm going to go and cut ahead in the, the video uh, until the, uh, the game is all set up and we're ready to begin begin uh, the final round. Whoa! Hello everyone! <laughs> I think I'm standing here daydreaming for a little bit too long. Is it? Has it reset? Yep, it has <laughs> reset, uh, which means uh, William Beaver can go and uh, have his go. So uh, go take your mount, uh, William Beaver. And uh, yeah, once you uh, pull the uh, the lever, uh, the time is going to begin. And whoa! That was a mega jump. I've never seen a horse jump that high before. <laughs> right, looks like we might have some some competition on our hand if uh, if William Beaver can jump that high. And there we go. The timer has begun. He has pulled the lever. And whoa, he is off. He is speeding. Why is Harry going so fast? And look at that jump. Right, I think that William Beaver has something to prove here. He wants to try and get all five pizzas. He's going crazy. <laughs> He's going for the tactic of non-stop jumping. I don't know whether that makes you go any quicker or not. Uh, but I do know that it looks ridiculous, so I'm quite happy with it. <laughs> right, so it looks like he's going back for the uh, the strategy of going straight to the, the lighthouse. It kind of worked for me not doing that. Right, but then again, I did only get four of them, which was good, you know, but there is a possibility uh, to go for all five. It looks like uh, he's going to, to do uh, a different route uh, compared to, to what all of us, uh, all of the uh, the rest of us did. So uh, he's going over the uh, the bridge now. Where's he going to head for? It looks like he's heading for the one on Stampy's Hot Buns. But that's a dangerous one. Because if you don't manage to do it, you can waste a lot of time on it. And it's probably one of the uh, the most difficult uh, ones to, to go for. Is he trying to find a new route up to it? Uh, oh, I think... Is he, is he climbing up here? Is that jump possible? Oh, if he, if he could jump up there, that would be a good shortcut. He's definitely trying to find a different way. And oh, look, it worked. Look at that. Look at that tactic. He jumped up. Oh, no, you're going the wrong way, though, William Beaver. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> you had almost made it. It's on top of Stampy's hot buns. That was really clever, though. Well, it was almost clever. He found a sneaky route. And then once he got up to the uh, the top, he started heading off in the, the wrong direction. They do look quite similar, though, to be fair. Right. He's managed to make the, uh, the jump up. And he hasn't lost too much time because of that. But he does now have to make another a big difficult jump but he did it 
He is the only person uh, to get the uh, the pizza uh, from the uh, the top of Stampy's hot buns. And be careful. No, don't jump down. Don't hurt Harry. Don't do that, William Beaver. You could have gone down a more gentle route. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Harry's fine. I think he's loving this. I'm sure he's enjoying it. And now which one is William Beaver uh, heading for next? It looks like uh, he's heading over to here. There is the one on top of the uh, the opticians. And he might be going for, for that one, I guess. I don't think he's interested in uh, jumping up the, uh, the same way that we did. I think uh, he's trying to find uh, more sneaky ways to, to try and get on top. I think he's trying to find uh, some of the uh, the shortcuts uh, to try and get up to, to them quicker. Is he going to try and jump from there? Is that even possible? I mean, I, I, at first I think it wasn't possible, but then again, I didn't think the uh, the jump he did before was possible, and I don't think that's going to happen. I think that that is just pushing Harry a little bit too much. I think he's going to have to go and uh, jump up uh, the uh, the same way as uh, all of the rest of us did. I don't know, he could maybe jump up to the up to here, and then jump across. Oh look, he's trying to jump straight up on top of the, uh, the, um, uh, the doggy daycare, and he managed to do it. He managed to do it. So that means that Harry can jump over three blocks high, which is a uh, is pretty impressive to be honest and he is now uh, making his way uh, over to the uh, the opticians but he did lose uh, quite a lot of time uh, trying to find a uh, another shortcut uh, to get on top of the uh, the opticians but it's still okay it's still not uh, a bad time whatsoever but he needs to remember that he needs to put the pizzas back as well. There's no point uh, in grabbing all of the uh, the pizza if you don't give yourself uh, enough time uh, to go and try and put the uh, the pizzas back. So which ones he's headed? Is he heading to next? Oh, I think he's going to the uh, the one on top of the uh, the clean machine. He's trying to do it uh, the uh, the same way that I did it, but it's actually quite difficult to to jump from here. It's hard to jump when you're kind of going down a, a slope. Uh, but it looks like William Beaver didn't have a, as much problem as uh, as I did, <laughs> and he was able to get the uh, the next pizza. So what's he gonna do now? Is he gonna go and try and get another? one or is he going to head back i think uh, he's going to go and head back and uh, just put those pizzas in uh, so then he knows that he's definitely uh, going to, to at least have those pizzas but oh no time is up time was over the uh the barrier was lifted up which means that he wasn't quick enough uh, in order to to put them back so that was still very impressive he was still able to do some really impressive jumps uh, but sadly uh, it wasn't uh, quite uh, enough uh, to to win the uh, the pizza pronto game uh, but he's got a load of pizzas on the bright side william beaver you can just eat the pizzas yourselves and uh, not have to go and give it to the uh, the customers <laughs> Uh, dear. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, head over to the uh, the clay oven then. So uh, the final scores uh, is it goes uh, Squashy with two, Polly with three, uh, me with four, and sadly William Beaver. Uh, he got a lot of pizzas. I think he got three pizzas, uh, but he wasn't uh, able to, to uh, deliver them uh, to the uh, the customers in time. Which means uh, I am going to be the um, uh, the employee of the uh, the month uh, at the uh, the clay oven pizzeria. But sadly, uh, we have now uh, just about uh, run out of uh, of time in this episode here. Uh, but don't worry, in the uh, the next episode, I am going to be going back to the other uh, fun land uh, where I'm going to begin building a brand new mini game. So make sure you check back uh, to see what that's going to be. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!